Well, the Whitesboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 Modifieds set to do battle here. 25 laps will be the distance. Riley Gill, number 57, will be inside your front row and on the outside. That'll be Nick Webb in the number 27W. Scott Webb, the number 18W, and Ryan Bartlett, number 39, are in row number two. Ryan Arbuthnot, the number R70. Jordan McCready, the 9J, they'll make up row number three. Billy Dunn's number nine, and Daniel Bryan, number 17D, are in row number four. Row number five, that'll be Steve Bilo in the number 20, and Jeremy LaSalle in the M96, rounding out the field, the number 51 of Brady Gill. Last call on the 50-50, ladies and gentlemen, last call on the 50-50. Well, White Pearl Plow Shop, Dirt Car, 358 modified, track safety lights going off, 25 laps the distance as we get ready for another classic brawl here with your modified division. Kurt Beck with green flag in hand, ready to turn the ponies loose at that cone. Over in turn number four. Green flag is in the air. Riley Gill's going to take him off turn number one. Looks to be your early leader midway down the backstretch. Nick Webb going to settle in the number two spot. Good battle mid-pack on lap number one as they head to turn number three and four. Off turn number four, Gill's going to be your early leader. He'll bring him down the front stretch, score lap number one. Ryan Arbuthnot jumps up all the way into the number two spot. Arbuthnot up to the third position, followed by Ryan Bartlett. They'll work off turn number four down the backstretch. They will go. Next car in line will be 18W of Scott Webb. Then it's the number nine of Bill. Dunn, Daniel Bryan, way off the racing surface over on the back stretch. Gets the 17D back out onto the racetrack, but Gill continues to stretch his lead advantage out in front of the field. They worked off turn number two. Ryan Bartlett tries to come to the inside of Nick Webb. Webb able to hold him off this time, but Bartlett closes that gap one more time down to turn number three and four. Best battle on the racetrack is four second, or excuse me, third, fourth, fifth, and six is four cars. Battle off turn number four, racing down in front. Webb trying to hold on to the fifth spot. It's got Billy Dunn all over his backside to work off turn number two down the backstretch. Dunn way to the outside of the speedway. That's going to allow Webb to skate away by about three car lengths out in front. The battle for the number five position. They work through the north end of the speedway. Riley Gill continues to bring up down the front stretch in that number 57 machine. About a four car advantage over Ryan Arbuthnot as they work off turn number two. Good battle shaping up for that third spot again. Here comes Ryan Bartlett to the inside of Nick Webb. Bartlett's going to take over the third position as they go to turn three. Bartlett right on the bottom of the racetrack. Nick Webb goes up the hill to 27W. And Scott Webb on the fifth spot right now has got company. Here comes Billy Dunn to the inside. Dunn's going to race by him on the bottom side of the racetrack. Then Jordan McCready also trying to slide a nose underneath Scott Webb over in turn number two. McCready just outside the top five. Now chases Webb down the backstretch. Danny O'Brien behind him, followed by Jeremy LaSalle as they head to turn three and four, and followed by Brady Gill in the 51. Back up front, it continues to be Riley Gill in that number 57, a 21.095, 21.095 for Gill that last time, a 21.80, 21.80 now as they head to turn number three and four. Midway down the back shot, he'll go to turn number three as Brady Gill trying to stretch this advantage out in front of the field. They work out turn number four with a lap car right out in front of Gill now as Gill brings him back to the stripe with a 21.54 seconds. Ryan Arbuth not a little bit quicker with a 21.35. 21.35. So the last couple times around, Ryan Arbuth not has been a touch quicker than Brady Gill. Gill's got to be careful right now. A lap car in front of him. That is Steve Bilo, but Bilo goes up and up. Up the way up to the top of the hill stays right out of harm's way and lets your leader shoot by. So Brady Gill works off the bottom of the speedway off turn number two. About eight car links out in front of Ryan Arbor. That is a legs of the turn and race down the backstretch. Bartlett now running up to that number three spot. He's about three car links out in front.
front of Billy Dunn. Dunn closing that gap over to turn number three and four. And Bartlett trying to hold on to that third spot as they work off turn number four. And it's two car lengths, now three car lengths back to Billy Dunn. Dunn running in that four spot. Your points leader coming into tonight's racing action. Nick Webb behind him, followed by Scott Webb. And then it's the nine of Jordan McCready, the 17 of Danny O'Brien, the 51 of a Brady Gill, and the M96 of Jeremy LaSalle as they work down the backstretch. They're on the backstretch, and your leader's going to turn number two right now as a Brady Gill, excuse me, Riley Gill continues to show the way with a 21.5, a 4.5, a 21.545 out in front of the field. Gill comes racing down the front stretch, score lap number 12 at the line. Ryan Arbuthnot can trying to eat away at that lead. Ryan Bartlett does a great job holding out of the number three spot as the hot shoe. Billy Dunn is about two car lengths back from him. Over in turn number two, they'll go racing down the back stretch, headed towards turn number three and four. Cross flags are going to be out this time when we come by. Halfway home, Brady Gill continues, or excuse me, Ray, Riley Gill continuing to show the way out in front of the field. <laughs> Gill off turn number two. Ryan Arbuth not trying to close that gap, but Gill with almost a quarter of a straightaway, now half a straightaway advantage as they'll go to turn number three and four. Gill keeps it wound up top side, hits the cushion, racing down the front stretch. Ryan Arbuth not running out of real estate here, trying to close that gap as they come to the line. Gill continuing to show the way into turn number three. Arbuth not just getting to turn number three right now. Here comes Ryan Bartlett followed by Billy Dunn. And then it's a distance back to Nick Webb holding on to the fifth spot as they work off turn number two. Then it'll be Scott Webb in front of Jordan McCready. McCready just outside the top six cars right now as he'll work to the outside of Scott Webb once again. Here comes Danny O'Brien now. This three-car battle for sixth, seventh, and eighth down into turn number one and two. Scott Webb came to the bottom that time and allowed the number nine of uh, Jordan McCready to go racing by on the outside. And here comes Danny O'Brien now. O'Brien working his way up into the sixth spot. They work through turn number three and four, but look at your leader is all the way down to turn number three by himself as he continues to eat away at this field, starting to put cars in laps as they come to the line. And now Ryan Arbuth not something to say about it as they go into turn number one and two. Gill to the bottom of the racetrack, midway down the backstretch. They work through turn number three and four. Ryan Arbuthnot off the racetrack to the top side as Riley Gill brings him down the front stretch. That Arbuthnot coming down a, about a half a straightaway behind him. Steve Bilo going off into the pit area as right now your leader, Riley Gill, has opened up almost a full straightaway advantage over the field in that number 57 machine. Ryan Arbuthnot, nothing for him right now as they come racing down the front stretch. And then it's a distance back to the Ryan Bartlett, number 93. Billy Dunn continues to lurk behind him about a car length. Now Dunn gets right to the inside of Bartlett over in turn number two, battling for the third position midway down the backstretch. Your leader again comes racing off turn number four. Another group of lap cars is going to be right in front of him as we come to the line with five more laps to go. Well, Riley Gill has been struggling all year to get that 57 pointed in the right direction. And tonight he has got that thing wound up in tip-top shape as he works his way all the way around the speedway. A full straightaway advantage over Ryan Arbuthnot. He'll go to turn number two with a couple of lap cars sitting right in front of him. 21 laps in as they head down to turn number three and four. Gill right now just has to be careful as he works into the north end of the speedway. You don't want to make a mistake right now with some lap traffic as they work out turn number four. Come down in front. Obviously, he doesn't know where the rest of the field is behind him, so he's still got to race hard. But he'll go into turn number two trying to control that battle. Off turn number two down the backstretch. Ryan Arbuth not sitting about half a straightaway back now as Gill has slowed down now with some of this lap traffic. But as he works off turn number four, parallel sticks are coming up and it will be two more trips around for Brady Gill. Excuse me, Riley Gill. Gill works off turn number two. It's about a half 
a straightaway advantage over Ryan Arbuthnot as they're midway down the backstretch. The number 39 of Ryan Bartlett continues to hold the third spot in front of Billy Dunn. Over in turn number three and four, Gill races off the top of the speedway. White flag will be waving as Riley Gill tries to put one away for the first time in the 2018 season. He'll take him racing down the backstretch, continuing to be careful with that lap traffic. Ryan Arbuthnot, about eight lengths back, doesn't have anything for him as they work off turn number four. Checkered flags are out. Gill brings them out. Turn number four. And Riley Gill's going to score the win here in the, the Weisboro Plow Shop Dirt Car 358 modifies. Ryan Arbuthnot's going to finish second. Third will belong to the 93 of Ryan Bartlett followed by Billy Dunn and Nick Webb will round out the top five cars. Well, the Gill crew has been tinkering with this car since practice before the season started and finally get it to pay off here tonight as Riley Gill is going to be your small block modified winner. <laughs> Riley Gill continues the Gill family winning ways the Weisboro Plow Shop. Victory Lane, a big smile on his face. Riley, congratulations. Welcome to Victory Lane, man. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Uh, a couple of years. Yeah. I got to ask you, you guys been tinkering with this car. You did something completely different this year. Oh, yeah. We, uh, like you said, just something completely different. <laughs> Watch you guys, you know, the beginning of the season with practice, trying to get this thing dialed in. The car was all over. Lap by lap, it's been getting quicker and quicker, and tonight it paid off. Yeah, we finally got her to come around. It's, uh... This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> People you want to thank? Well, I've got to thank my mother and my father. Without them, this wouldn't be possible. I have to thank uh, Chuck Meyer. Uh, Zach Eckert, Caleb Eckert, my brother. There's just a ton of people. And uh, it wouldn't be possible without any of them. And I am so lucky to have all the people around me that I do. All right, well, great race tonight. Congratulations. Welcome back to Victory Lane. Riley Gill, your modified feature winner here. The Whitesboro Plow Shop, Smallbach Modified. First win in a couple of years here for the young man whose family is synonymous with racing in northern New York. Great to see the Gills back in Victory Lane.